Yeah. The worst part was, like, I hate how he got he got killed over some not not beef that he had nothing to do with, well, but like some, some shits that, that the shit that he got killed for is debatable. And what it, I mean, yeah. people are painting in this East Coast West Coast thing, and that was just yeah, a fucking, that was that's just a bullshit. Um, I I it have my own the theories. Sean of, Combs and fucking it, nothing like, no, to do with saying, that. No, no, and neither did Biggie's that. death. I don't think it's possible that Biggie's death was because. It came afterward, and people, they were trying to say that that's what it was about, mm-hmm. was Tupac's death was, you know, the East Coast or whatever, you know, during that crap. And um, I don't think Tupac's was a, a death of that feud, but Biggie's might have been. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, they never caught the fucking guys, um, <laughs> and that's a fucking shame because... Shitty work right there. They were Shitty white. Work. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. They were white. Racism still alive. For sure. For sure. And Tupac so really talked about, like, all, all the shit that w- that has come to light now to, to people about what's, hap- what's happened and still happening to mm-hmm. the black community um, has been going on. And, I mean, like, we've known about it because, one, you live... Part, yeah, was, part of it yeah. and then I mean the 90s, through yeah. through that was, that through the art I off. you know was privy to the information I mean like I forget who it was I think it was Nas I mean a lot of people have made this uh, same uh, kind of like uh, um, analogy of like they're they're reporters and they're just reporting yeah. I think actually it might have been easy actually I think it was um, um, back in the NWA days but uh so, and I mean, I knew when they were saying this shit, I knew, like, that's what was happening, you know, because you also see it in the movies. I mean, you in the 90s, you had Menace to Society. In the 80s, you had, sure. you know, yeah. like, uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Boys in the Hood. I mean, you had and shit Spike tons Lee of movies like a, that. A few uh, movies that were, huh? Listen, Spike Lee had a few movies that were pretty good. Oh, of course. I mean, he was, uh, I would say, you know, he, he's... Very influential. Very influential. And he was, he's a, he hasn't got uh, the credit where credit is due. Mm-hmm. I bet you they're going to kiss his fucking ass when he's dead. Oh, yeah. And, and they just on him like when he's oh, alive yeah. especially in the beginning mm-hmm. um like he didn't get a fucking nod Oscar nod for Malcolm X are you fucking kidding me like what come on anyway just racism so in the movie industry. yeah and cause it's everywhere unfortunately oh, yeah. um but Tupac talked about all that shit and it's like you listen to his music now that shit is still relevant even more so to people now because it's now we the with the internet and fucking camera phones and shit like you know mm-hmm. cameras or phones on cameras on phones. Uh, we are seeing it now more, and it's you can't ignore it anymore. It's on the open. Everybody's got something. You know, finally, um, people are still trying to push it down, of course. But you know, Tupac was like on the forefront of that. Like what he had to say mattered um, back then and still now. And yeah, he had you know. And he did help a lot. He of the he, he did. Too. He, he give back to the community. Yeah, a uh, I'm not actually aware of what he's done. I'm, I, I don't I mean, disbelieve it. It wasn't I, like you know. What did he, he do? He wasn't like fucking crazy. No, he just helped out like local schools and like you know just some of the communities and mm-hmm. stuff. Like I mean, most of it was a lot of money donation, but you know his mom just died. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. R.I.P. Shame. 